Welcome back to Herd the Nerd and today's episode of the Newcastle Director of Football Challenge. As we are back to take on Manchester City before West Ham. Uh, because bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. We may have a couple of very close episodes. So since we left you after the Chelsea game, we knew we were called in front of the board. We then uh, drew, we beat Wigan 1-0. Uh, Joel Linton got a goal. Shock, I know. We beat Wigan. We're through to the FA Cup fifth round. Lovely job. We then smashed Leeds 3-1. Neto got two goals, played outstandingly uh, and Karen Tao the new signing from um, Tottenham or Loney signing scored a goal good goal as well banging goal we played Southampton we lost 3-1 this was bad they came at us late so it's 1-1 Karen Tao again scored a great goal uh, Shea Adams scored obviously ball over the top and then we went attacking they scored a 95th minute we lost 3-1 Southampton there we got hauled in front we were properly hauled in front then um, so we're in the middle of our points out of games score thing so we've got manchester city and west ham the reason we'll probably do these back to back well unless we beat city uh it all comes down to the west ham game to save our jobs uh, but before we get into that we will jump into and go through the transfers the rest of the transfers uh don't get too excited about it bad things happened and some of them are my fault also we there's a lovely little when well, you do get pulled in if you have been on the verge of the sack um you get a lovely little bar that tells you whether you're going to meet that target or not so we had to get eight points from five games i think it was the it might be bugged because we've got two games left which are man city and west ham um but it says we've got three games left but they're not listed in the games so i don't know what's going on but essentially after this game we'll see how we're progressing against that we need a win i think we got three points so we need essentially a point and a win to make sure we don't get fired uh also yeah so uh one problem with the director of football challenge i don't know where it happened something happened along the way i was in charge of player contracts and i don't know if this was for the entire thing or for the last season or so i don't know when it changed but somehow i got put in responsibility of player contracts which means i hadn't signed anyone on contracts and was one in my i was one in my players were leaving um and so that could have screwed me over uh but we'll go through who we bought in so we brought in george wickens a young goalkeeper 21 year old it looks quite good but again why are we bringing a youth goal we're in a relegation battle uh we've also brought in a, a left back another left back we've got three now so vitali and mola link mola calling yeah you i'm not even gonna try it you guys will rip me for it another wing back fullback again quite pacey looks quite good but i quite like baba Rahman. i've got and amavi so i'm again not sure what we brought him in for but he was cheap i wonder if we were looking for a bargain and then a center back Jorge sayans just again average I've got Shah. He's quite good. I don't know what he's doing. He's bought defensively. We've loaned in a striker. We've bought in a goalkeeper and two defenders and loaned in a striker. And we need goals. Um, on the way out, Isaac Hayden went out in the end. Uh, we knew that Fruit Woodman was going. But then also, Sigurdsson and Falk have both left on the end of contracts because I didn't I didn't give him a contract because I didn't know I was in charge of it. I've now, I've now rectified that. So hopefully Steve Round will sort it out. But I may have irrevocably broke the save. So, sorry team. Uh, this is the formation we go with. Still sticking with the five at the back. I like it defensively. Just attacking. We're not so great. Playing short passing. Looking to play a higher line. I'm going to try Neto as an inverted winger. He plays good. Then he plays bad. Then he plays good. Then he plays bad. Uh, there's no knowing with this guy. What you, what Neto are you going to get? Set maximum out there. And Tao is a, 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 a CF. Uh, a complete forward on attack. So, there are attackers. Our wing backs getting forward. Looking for overlap. But also whipping crosses in on low crosses. Uh, and then we're going for a Metzala and a DLP. And going for Shackleton and Angerin. So young, pacey, uh, full of creativity in the middle. Rather than Rodriguez, slightly more defensive. We're leaving Bavarama in because I like him. Uh, Malenko is on the bench but I won't have played yet. Uh, and that's it. It's a, quite a disappointing transfer window considering we've still got um, 63 million in the bank. We're in a relegation battle and they're banking 63 million. So, Manchester City. We beat them like in the Carrow Cup, but obviously they were playing a, a much rotated team. So let's see how we get on here in the league. We need at least a draw. So I'm going for a passionate opportunity. Let's go. A draw at home against City would really help. And that means we have to beat my beloved West Ham to keep our job. If we keep our job, uh, this will be amazing. The team is starting to come together, but just not as quickly as I'd like. And goals are few and far between still. Okay, first proper highlight, 15 minutes in. City coming forward, but not really over committing. Sterling sitting deep, De Jong there, Havertz coming. There we go, Latore Martinez. So we should have enough back to deal with these guys. Loris fumbles. 
Right, here we go. Playing out then. Lloris. 20 minutes in. Can we short pass our way forward? Shackleton into Baba Rama. Look at him. Stepping up. Taking the mantle. Getting a bit confused. But he's still going inside to ASM. Anjurin. Oh my god, that was a goal kick. It wasn't even a deflection. It wasn't even a deflection. That was just a poor shot. Anjurin, I put you in there to add some spark in that Metzala position. And let Shackleton do a bit more of a defensive playmaker role. And you've let me down early doors. De Jong. He's a big lump as well to have in the middle. I like it. Sterling. Out to Jao Concello. Sterling. Inside. Nicely cleared by AS. ASM clears. And Tal comes away. Good defensive performance again. They may have had shots, but none of them noteworthy. Neto up. What a ball in from Tal. Neto gets up and heads over. We can snatch one. I feel we've got one in us. But also, we easily could let a few in. De Jong. Oh, Loris. Nice save. Coming in on half time before we get another highlight here. Kane on a yellow as well. Struggling against our five at the back. We're trying to stick to be defensively sound. Sterling. Oh my God, that, that was a tackle from behind. That was dangerous. De Jong. It's going to be an edge of box banger that gets us. Not on that one though. Taveres. I like this guy because his face pack, his picture in his face pack is from him from when he's about seven. It's ridiculous. Right, we've gone in. Nil, nil at half time. We've been okay. Sakai's making mistakes for days brilliantly and our entire attacking outlet are playing shite but aggressive, not happy. Let's get him fired up. Why are you demotivated? Shackleton actually, to be fair, very happy with your performance. You're probably the only one I am. Second half underway. We need some of our attacking players to get a little bit more into it. See, this is the problem. Look at that defensive line. Look at it, man. Just five bank marking Harry Kane is what we've got. I need some of these attackers to start showing something. This is a problem, guys. You're all in there. There we go. Neto robs it high. Go on your own, son. Oh. He's tipped over the bar, which is good, rather than just going straight over the bar. But whew, he's gone for power there. Neto in. Three defenders. None of them go for it. Again, wind me up, corners, man. Wind me up. Three central defenders are not... We don't, no, we're never near anything. ASM in. Making a great tackle there. Yeah, I've left him on attack as well. I've left these guys on attack. They are still getting in and chasing... Which is good. They're getting involved in the defending. But I've got enough defenders, to be fair. Like, there's enough of you there. Don't worry so much about it. Laporte. Well, do you know what I might do, actually? Is I might push that line higher. Which may leave them a little bit detached. But I don't need them. I got five defenders against three attackers. We're doubled up. We've got the numbers. Havertz may come through, but they're not really pushing down the middle. See, back to Jao Cancelo. This is where I need them to get back in. Just track your defender. Havertz is there. Loris, nice easy save again. Man City having a lot of shots, a lot of shots on target, but I wouldn't say they're actually dominating this game in any way. ASM is not had a knock and playing shite, and I've got no one to bring on. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. We've lost as well. We've we've losing Falk and because of the problems with non-homegrown players. I mean, our DOF is really screwing us over now because we've got no homegrown players. We literally don't have any players. I think we might have to go to this formation. Advance forward. Bring in Jolinton. We do still have Jolinton and we do still have... And then Neto. In as an... Uh... Yeah, we'll leave him on attack as well, actually. There's no reason to not have him in as attack. Do I want him? I might play him as a shadow striker, actually. And then have Jonathan play as a support. So, what have we got now? We've got attack and wait for us. Let's put it back to standard. We're going to need the overlap. We're going to need the crosses. We're going to need everything the way it was. Let's drop the line back down. I don't want to get too carried away. Let's go for the two striker system. We've got no Falk who could play out wide. We've got no Sigurdsson who could play out wide. Both have been transferred at the end of their contracts, but I had no uh, yeah, no homegrown players, so I couldn't uh, actually register them for the league. So they're gone. Um, so we're going to have to get a two-strike system working again because surely that's all we've got. We've got Kawanaki. We've got Joel Linton. We've got Tao now. We actually have strikers. We've got Neto who can play inside and ASM who can play inside or up top if he needs to. He scored goals for us from up front before. Tavares, Shackleton in. Nicely done, Shacks. No, badly done, Shax. Fatty's in. Oh, my God. Shackleton, you did all the hard work and then you give the ball away, son. Neto playing crap. Raman Sakai. Right. Sakai, you've been making mistakes all day. Get off. Uh, Neto off. Let's give Ronan Darcy, the youngster, a run. He's an advanced playmaker on attack. I mean, that was work for us. That does work for us. Let's try him as that. A playmaker. Three playmakers in the middle. 
I'm literally making this up as I go along now. Let's demand more from him. Man City have got attacking. They're going to try and get... They're going to try and snatch this late, aren't they? They're going to try and whip my job away from me late. I think we've done a very good job thus far of keeping them. They've had a lot of shots, a lot of shots on target. But like I say, nothing in the match. They're not looking like they're dominating us in the match engine. Just dominating us in the stats. As Baba Rahman is through on his own. He's got two men inside. He's lost all of his pace. And he's played the shittest ball I've ever seen in my entire life. Why did he stop running then? Why did he stop running? Havertz now is through inside. Why did Baba Rahman run forward, stop, put his foot in the ball? It's like he's incompetent. Foden, whip it in, cleared, Havertz, edge of box, glad he didn't hit it, Foden, back to Havertz, De Jong, <sighs> out to Latore Martinez, we got a lot of plays back there, which is good, Laporte, Latore Martinez, Laporte, oh my god, they've still got it, Havertz, back out to Laporte, he's a centre back, surely, yeah, he's offside, come on, 81 minutes, like I say, a draw is as much as we can ask for, we get to Manchester City here, and we're in a relegation battle, push forward, Oh, I frustrated him. That was a bad call. 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 They've gone very attacking. De Jong. Baba Rama. No! Oh, my God. Baba, you absolute prick. What a defensive header that was. It was like, oh, sorry, Foden. I didn't quite make it to where you were. Let me just head it to you so you can fucking take a shot. Great block by Shax. Get it out, Shax. Get it out. Oh, my God. This game. This match engine, man, with its silly, silly pauses. A nil nil. I will take a nil nil all the way to the bank. Well done, boys. A hard fought nil nil. We're still 16th, 21 points. We've lost eight. Oh my god. Our win ratio is going right down the toilet. We have got a game in hand, though. That puts us 24 points. We could, I mean, our goal difference is shite as well, but it could put us up to like 12th. So we could jump again at 29. Look at the gap, though, between 7th. Reading, I've got 40 points. Arsenal were on bloody down here. Oh my god, this league is so topsy turvy. It's unbelievable. Right. Points target. Here we go. Points target update. Um, we need four points. It says four points for the next two matches, which is impossible because it's only showing Man uh, West Ham as the next match. So we got points at Leeds. It's also showing it's very topsy turvy. So it's showing home and away backwards and forwards. So away, is that we lost? That should be we won, we lost, we lost, we draw. But we didn't. We lost. We lost. We lost. Did we lose all of them? One of these we must have won. Away, we won. So we won that one. We beat Leeds. So we got our four points from Leeds and Chelsea. We needed eight. Which, I I mean, it looks like we're getting fired after West Ham. Regardless if we win or not, right? Unless we get seven. And then they'll be like, close enough. We'll let you carry on. So um, next episode... Next game. It's going to be West Ham, isn't it? Uh, but for you, you're going to have to wait till Monday to find out whether we get fired or not. That's going to be fun, isn't it? So I'll uh, see you on Monday. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you back on Monday to find out whether we keep our job or not. Uh, so have a good, good, good weekend. Bye.